I'm out here in one of my favorite places out by my chickens. They help me be calm. I was uh, been thinking a lot about the fact that there's a lot of stress and anxiety going on in our world right now. Anxiousness about our families, our country, our world. Anxious about how things are gonna look in the future. Um, the other night I was at a Zoom um, session meeting and our session leaders with all good intention and really calling upon the name of the Lord to make good decisions about what it's going to look like when we open up again. They were mentioning things that it could be that we will never be able to pass an offering plate again. Or maybe it's going to be a long, long time before we can shake each other's hands or do the traditional greeting that we do. And for me, that started causing me a great deal of anxiousness um, because it's it goes against everything that I love. And I could feel myself getting more and more anxious. And by the time the meeting was over, I had a lump in my throat. I was really anxious about what things are gonna look like. And I just started crying out to God and asking him to help me because I know that his word says I shouldn't be anxious for anything. And then I picked up a book that I'm rereading after having read it several years ago. It's John, it's Max Lucado's Anxious for Nothing. And I remembered something that it said. It talks about the time when King Uzziah was the king of Judah and he had managed to keep peace for a long, long time because he was a man of God. And now he has died and Isaiah, who is, has been a priest for King Uzziah, but is getting ready to be commissioned into becoming a prophet on behalf of God, he's feeling anxious. He's wondering what it's going to be like. Will there be peace? What will there be? King Uzziah has died. Will his son love the Lord? And then King, and then Isaiah writes in Isaiah 6 about a vision that he had that helped him overcome this anxiety. It says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. Two wings covered their faces, two wings covered their feet, and with two wings they flew. And they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, God Almighty. The whole world is full of his glory. And Max Lucado reminded me in his book that yes, King Uzziah's throne may be empty, but God's throne is not. King, that's what Isaiah heard and saw in that vision, that no matter what was going on, God is on his throne. And so, listening to that, I was able to relax and think about the fact that it really doesn't matter what's going on that I should be anxious about because God's got this. He's on his throne and Jesus Christ is right there with him at his right hand speaking for us. God's throne room is full of his majesty and his glory. So the next time you start feeling anxious, try and remember the, what Isaiah heard in his vision. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, and the whole world is full of his glory. He's got the whole world. He's got us. Try and remember that the next time you feel anxious. I know I will.